Hey, well gone. It's Mr. Garfield here. And we're going to be looking at another Cape Integrated Mathematics question from module one of the syllabus, that's Foundations of Mathematics. All right, and I'm focusing on complex numbers. So here I have a complex numbers question from the 2015 specimen paper that is provided in your syllabus. Okay, so it says, given that X and Y are real numbers, find the value of X and the value of Y if x plus y plus x minus y times i is equal to 7 plus 3 all right so if we look at a complex number in its algebraic form we're talking about a, a complex number in the form z equals x plus y i right where x and y are real numbers of course so you should know that the real part of the complex number z we denote it as r e of z so the real part of Z is this value here, X, all right? And the imaginary part of Z is equal to the number in front of I there, which is Y, okay? Good. Now, here we have two complex numbers. We have X plus Y plus X minus Y times I, and we have seven plus three I on the right-hand side, all right? Now these, complex numbers are equated to each other and we need to find the value of x and y now we, what we have here is a case where we have equal complex numbers right and complex numbers are equal whenever the real and imaginary parts of the complex numbers are, are the same right so if you have equal complex numbers it means that the real and, and imaginary parts are equal okay let me write our solution here. So our solution, all right? We're talking about the real and, Im and imaginary parts being equal. So on the left-hand side, the real part of the complex number is this part here, which says X plus Y. On the right-hand side here, the real part of the complex number seven plus three I is seven, right? So you're gonna equate those two together. So X plus Y, is equal to seven. Those are the real parts of the complex numbers, right? And it also means that the imaginary parts of the complex numbers are equal. So now we're looking at the number in front of i, okay? So on the left-hand side for this complex number, the number in front of i or the, or the imaginary part of the complex number is x minus y, okay? And on the right hand side, the imaginary part of the complex number, seven plus three i, is the number in front of i here, which is three. All right. So x plus y is equal to seven. And equating the imaginary parts now, x minus y is equal to three. Okay. So whenever you see two complex numbers being equated to each other, it means that you have equal complex numbers. And it means that the real parts and the imaginary parts must be equal, all right? So here you recognize that I now have a pair of simultaneous equations, okay? Which you could solve either by the way of elimination or substitution. I'm going to use elimination. So I'm not going to solve these, these equations simultaneously. So solve simultaneously, all right? Solve simultaneously. So my first equation that I obtained is x plus y equals seven. So we have x plus y equals seven, and we have x minus y equals three. So I'm using the process of elimination. All right, so I'm gonna eliminate either x or I can eliminate y. I'm going to choose to eliminate y. Now here in the first equation, I have plus y, and in the second equation, I have negative y. So what operation can I perform in order to get rid of those y's there? I could use addition, right? So I could add both equations. So if I'm adding both equations here, okay, I will have x plus x, which is two x, and I will have y plus negative y, which will give me zero. So those two will actually cancel out, okay? And this is now equal to seven plus three. Okay, good. And of course, we know that seven plus three is 10. So we have two X being equal to 10. Okay, 
So I have 2x equals 10. I need to find the value of x. So I can get rid of this 2 by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. And if I do that, I will get x is equal to 10 divided by 2, which is 5. All right, so my value for x is 5. Good. Now that I have found the value for x, let me now find the value for y. So you could substitute this x value here into either the first or the second equation that we obtained. It doesn't matter. We'll still get the same answer. I'm going to choose the first one. All right. So if x plus y is equal to 7, right, and I want to find the value of y, then it means that I will have to get rid of this x here. All right, by subtracting both sides of the, of the equation by x. So if x plus y equals 7, it implies, right, it implies that y is equal to 7 minus x, right? Good. So now substitute, so you're now going to substitute x as 5. So now substitute x equals 5. All right? x equals 5 into y. Right into y. Good. So we know that y is equal to 7 minus x, and our value for x here is 5. So what we have is y equals 7 minus 5, and 7 minus 5 is 2. So therefore, y is 2. All right. So we have completed the question. Let us write a final statement here. So therefore, the solution. Therefore, the solution is x equals 5 and y equals 2, okay? And that is the value of x and y that they asked us to calculate. Good. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, please ensure to like up the video and subscribe to the channel. I am Mr. Garth Reed, Student Ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica and a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.